Привет, друзья! How is it going? My name is Fedor. Welcome to BeFluent channel, the channel that is all about helping people speak Russian. Today it's not going to be a language lesson, but it's going to be a culture lesson. I'm going to talk about Russian music, its past, and its present. And maybe some history, and hopefully I can, you know, think about future and maybe suggest, suggest something for Russian musicians for the future. I want to start with the classics. Classics of Russian music are very, very rich. And uh, as you are, if you are familiar with the music, with the classical music, you will know that there are a lot of Russian composers, such as, I have my little list here because I'm not really into classical music, but I, I know these names. It's just not to forget, I put it on, on the list. Uh, the most famous one and the one that uh, everybody knows back home is Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky is, a, is the most famous composer from my experience, from what I know. Then it's Rimsky Korsakov. And it's not in any importance or fame, uh, you know, scale. It's just names that I'm gonna uh, point out. Then it's Rachmaninov, Rachmaninov, Baradin, Baradin, Glinka, Glinka, and Stravinsky. Those are the the top names that came up in my head and uh, when I was doing the research. Those were the uh, the main names of Russian classical music. And I can tell you that I've heard uh, these names uh, a lot of times, many many times. So uh, it's not that I just you know researched and they popped up. I I've heard of these names. They're pretty famous back home and hopefully you know about them something as well and if you would listen to their music probably you would hear some you know familiar sounds but unfortunately classical music classical music was rich and had an impact on you know worldwide music maybe not as much as Beethoven or uh, Mozart uh, and maybe like who else who else was there well other European composers uh, but they still had a huge impact on the music itself. Unfortunately, during the USSR years, uh, the, the impact of Russian musicians and, uh, you know, Soviet musicians was not as big. Um, I don't know, I don't know why, maybe it's because it was less freedom and less, you know, freedom of, um, of, your, of, your, of your art, everything was controlled. Maybe that is the reason why uh, Russian music did not really develop a lot. During the USSR years, uh, especially at the end, a lot of Western culture came to us, uh, like uh, especially music like ro uh, rock and roll, uh, hard rock music like ACDC, Beatles, Queen, all of that came to Russia and a lot of Russian people listened to that kind of music because we didn't have the same thing here. We didn't, we didn't have the same like equivalent of that style of music in Russia. That's why we kind of borrowed what we had and what we were given from the outside because we wanted to hear that kind of new, new sound. The two main uh, artists and uh, one band and one artist that came to my mind uh, when thinking about USSR years and music was the band Kino. Kino. It might not be the most talented band in the world, but it had an impact, it had a lot of following in Russia. And it's, uh, it's an artist, Vysotsky. Vysotsky was a more of a revolution, uh, revolutionary. Um, yeah, uh, he was kind of like singing about stuff that really um, was re real important to Russian people at the time. And he had a lot of trouble for that, uh, for singing, for opening his mouth about something that uh, was not welcomed by the government. So he is a great, great artist and he, his style is very unique. And if you want to listen to him, uh, go ahead. Uh, you, have the, you have his name on the screen and in the, com in, a, in the description down below. So check him out if you want to. It's a really, really interesting style of singing and just interesting art. So as I said before, um, there was a lot of influence from, from uh, Western, from, from the West. Uh, on, on Russian music, on Russian people. So even today, a lot of Russians listen to Western music. It's mostly rock music, mostly um, 
like you know alternative rock hard rock all of that is very popular back home uh, and it's mostly American bands American and English bands because the sound uh, of of English words is somewhat familiar uh, to us uh, unlike for example Spanish or French or Italian so it's closer to our culture that's why we really listen to a lot of American music before coming uh, before coming to America I listen to a lot of American bands rock bands hard rock bands because I'm a fan of hard rock so uh, a lot of American bands are popular back home uh, maybe bands like Skillet, Rise Against uh, what else? Well, of course, Beatles is just classics. Um, what else? Uh, what else is pretty popular? Oh, 30 Seconds to Mars. That's pretty popular. Um, uh, that's about it. Maybe I'm forgetting something. Well, of course, bands like U2 from England, bands like, not England, from the UK, um, bands, um, what else? Foo Fighters. Like a lot of pretty famous rock. Oh, uh, I'm forgetting Pink Floyd, I'm forgetting Muse as well. So a lot of different bands that pop to my head right now are all from either UK or, or America. So you can see that there's a lot of influence on Russian music from the Western side of the world. And unfortunately, uh, and it's starting to change slowly, uh, there is not a lot of good Russian music currently. Good, good new style, rock style Russian music. The only band that I can really name, and it's a, a Ukrainian band, that I really, really like is Akian Elze. Akian Elze, they sing in, in Ukrainian, but Russian and Ukrainian is pretty similar, so I can um, kind of grasp on the idea of the song, still. Um, but even though uh, the main genres of music, which is rock and pop, is not really good in Russia, we have our own rap and hip-hop industry, our, our own kind of niche of that. It's nowhere near, uh, you know, American style, which is, uh, you know, has, has, has its history that goes way back. Uh, our rap music is more of a new style, and we have a lot of battle, battle rappers back home, and um, there are two main, two main battle rap um, not companies, but what is that? Like organizations is versus battle and Slova battle. Okay, it's two, two main um, organizations of rap battle, and I watch them sometimes. It's pretty interesting, so check them out if you want to. Um, so yeah, our rap music is slow, slowly developing, but it's nowhere near you know American rap music because in, in America it has it has its uh, its history and its need. In Russian, there is not much need in rap music, in, in, in that rebellious uh, kind of music. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Now, what else did I miss? Well, for the future, I hope that Russian music is going to develop. I think that uh, Russian voice is strong. Russian uh, music can be strong due, due to its past and due to the talent that we have in Russia. I really hope that it's going to develop. I'm, I'm really optimistic about that because I see more and more somewhat decent bands come up and, you know, make some good quality music. I hope it's going to be much better in the future. And I, if I can do something about it, I will. Uh, because, you know, I, I, really, I really want to hear new Russian music in the future. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something about Russian music. And if there's anything else that, I, that you want me to talk about, please put it in the comments down below. I would love to help you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Пока-пока!